welcome back. Um, finally, we are catching up and with Samson, his new one, What About Us? We have no idea what to expect. <gasps> Stop singing that song. She heard it. Oh, my God. You're living in the year like early 2000s. That's when the music was the best. So... Yeah, but you always sing the same three songs in your playlist. It's time to change it up. If you're going to drive me nuts, please don't hate at Shanti. least please make Thank a good, you. better playlist. Don't hate on Ashanti. I'm not hating. It just I perhaps we should it. find I a new Stanford. artist. I Thank you. Okay. Well, today is about Samson. And as always, we like never know when he drops something, but it's so awesome of all y'all to let us know when he does. And we have no idea what it's about. And I'm so excited. Way better than Ashanti. I'll say that. Yeah. You didn't mean it, Ashanti. Where's the music coming from? Is this a song? This is to the. Hello? Oh, it did. Oh. That's true. Don't tread on me. Those are words that I stand by, homie. It doesn't mean I'm gangster. It doesn't mean I'm country. It means that my life is in my hands only. I don't have money for security. I don't have armed guards that I keep snug around me. You don't think that is a protection like you do, and that means you don't give a fuck about me. Gated community, that's what you live in. Hatred and mutiny, that's what we live in. So come down here and hang with us for a minute. See if you leave with the same fucking opinion. Who's gonna help me out if I get robbed? What if somebody were to beat up my mother? Who's gonna be there to save our lives? Okay, so Second Amendment. Wow. That's oh wow. Wait, what? That was awkward what you just said. What do you mean? So that, second oh, Amendment. So second amendment. Yeah, I know, but how you just cut into it. Samson, why you gotta do us like that? What? You can't throw in lots of digs. Throw on lots of digs. Too much time together. I don't lots know if you guys digs. can notice. Lots but of digs. Too much lots time together. What about days. knives? We I know we're about gun laws. What about knives? Because I feel them in my back right now. I just see your hunch. <laughs> There's no hunch. I sit straight, lady. I sit straight. This is exactly what we love about Samson. Always speaking facts. Everyone can live in the gated community. And it's those that live in the gated community that tell us we cannot protect ourselves when there's mayhem. You just never know when something could happen that you would need to find to protect yourself. And they're trying to make it harder for us, us to do so. <laughs> and anything that. Sometimes I feel like she needs protection because if our mom had used some protection, then maybe, then maybe you and your my homie, it doesn't mean I'm gangster, it doesn't mean I'm country It means that my life is in my hands only I don't have money for security I don't have armed guards that I keep snug around me You don't think I deserve protection like you do And that means you don't give a fuck about me Gated community, that's what you live in Hatred and mutiny, that's what we live in So come down here and hang with us for a minute See if you leave with the same fucking opinion Who's gonna help me out if I get robbed? What if somebody were to beat up my mother? Who's gonna be there to save our lives? You? Nah, me, motherfucker Ooh. I'm the only one that's got my back It's dog eat dog these are not no cats. There's cops in Michigan that can't even respond to the calls because the cars ain't got no gas. Great. Doggy dog. Yeah. Say no cats. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna go back. I... I'm the only one that's got my back. It's dog eat dogs. These are not no cats. There's cops in Michigan that can't even respond to the calls because the cars ain't got no gas. Great. Police don't have any fuel. You don't know if they'll arrive when you call them. The babies are starving. My girlfriend can't find a tampon, and yet somehow you and I are the problem. Somehow. I've never brought a gun without having my background scanned and approved. The only loophole I've seen on a gun is the one that you put a fucking lanyard through. It's not true that you can go to the store and just swipe your yeah. card and get a Glock and run. It's funny. The people that say that shit have literally never even shot one exactly hey, Matthew McConaughey exactly oh, oh, oh I can't wait about Matthew McConaughey it's so accurate like they don't even know what the laws are and they're like no. well, you could just walk into like CVS and pick yeah. up a gun and just walk out yeah no. you cannot no. in nowhere can you and in California where we are it's like the strictest gun laws ever and we have tons the gun violence so, tons of gun violence because it's not coming from where you buy a gun it's all black market but of course they won't ever tell you that mm -hmm. i mean those that follow the laws aren't about to break them and those that break the laws clearly don't respect it so what makes you think that they're gonna get the guns legally you know what i mean it's like you can't just go to walmart i don't know what walmart people have talked <laughs> yeah, about in the south i feel like people have always said like walmart you just go and get out but i still feel like but they would checks. never we don't yeah. even have guns at walmart it's crazy like we gotta go to a different walmart i think Clearly. 
maybe when I was in Oregon once they had guns at the Walmart, but you can't just like go in and buy them. Yeah. It's easier to find a PS5, which is basically impossible, but it's easier to get that than walk out with the gun because there's extensive background checks. It's it's a lot of yikes, you know what I mean? A lot of yikes. It's not true that you can go to the store and just swipe your card and get a Glock and run. It's funny, the people that say that shit have literally never even shot one. Dumbass. Hey, Matthew McConaughey. Shut the fuck up. Just because you murdered people on screen doesn't mean you know shit about guns, you dumb fuck. What? You worried about us? What about all of those violent movies that you played? How about you go talk to Alec Baldwin before you start telling me what to do, okay? You Valdi? I was horrified by it. That's your hometown. You were. That was so good. Like, yeah, go away. Go away. Go. What a weak, what a weak person. Like. I mean, Your what time is, is done. Like, yeah. Let go. This is not going to like make you relevant again. Who no, cares that you? career is long gone. Yeah. It's long gone. I mean, I can't even think of the last Matthew McConaughey movie I watched. Maybe like Wolf of Wall Street. And that was a, honestly a tough one to watch. That one with. um. Yeah. I think there's a Charlie Hunnam movie I watched with him in it. Anyways. Anyways. The, the whole point. point you're is... trash. In the Baldwin. hole. Ooh, yikes. 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 Talking about some laws. Crazy. Yikes. yikes. Before you start telling me what to do, okay? You Valdi, I was horrified by it. That's your hometown. You were born right by it. It probably cuts deep, and I hope that it does, because you work in an industry that glorifies violence. It's more mm -hmm. your fault than it will ever be mine. Lord only knows how many crimes that you've influenced throughout your whole career, because I've seen you kill people plenty of times. Yep. What do you think is going to cause a shooting? A YouTube video of a gun review or a Hollywood murder scene? that seems so realistic it looks like it's from the news so next time that you want to point your finger with a stupid opinion and chime in with it remember it ain't me that they're trying to be like dog it's you that they're trying to mimic i feel way more safe in a place happening. where the people are happening. first happening. of all oh there it's it is happening. goosies it happened it happened um our grandma used to always say she hated watching any kind of movies coming from hollywood specifically because it would teach people how to commit these crimes mm -hmm. she hated it and it's so true everything matthew mcconaughey does or like any movie it'll tell you basically how to commit these crimes yeah. and they're trying to tell I mean, there's us there's literally a show called how to get away with murder yeah. i haven't watched it but i'm assuming it's it's about how to get, how to get, how to get away, away with murder, murder crazy it's okay then they blame people like youtube and stuff like mm -hmm. that that's what's crazier hey dog it's you that they're trying to mimic i feel way more safe in a place where the people are legally armed if something happens like a mass shooting i have a way less chance of being lethally harmed a criminal is gonna think twice if he knows everybody is a piece underneath their clothes and mayor lightfoot will probably tell you different but <laughs> have you seen chicago and no before you ask i don't want to be like canada either and i don't want to be like australia i'm sick of everybody using them as a humanity meter there's a reason that they can do whatever they want to their citizens like fucking throw them in camp and there's a reason that our government doesn't even try that shit because they know that they can't if you don't think for one split second that if we didn't have our second amendment the government wouldn't overstep its boundaries and make us do shit even when we're against it you're out of your mind i don't give a damn where you stand or how or what you vote that's dandy and fine if you trust uncle sam but i for one fucking don't and yeah. why would i what have they done give me a reason for me to believe them they want to trade me a little security in exchange for a big ass piece of my freedom they don't want to take away guns because they care about you and they want to keep you safe at night they want to take away guns because it's easy to control people if they don't have any Way to fight. Exactly. This is the best one, I think. Exactly. First of all, if I, if someone was like going to commit a crime, you wouldn't go to a police station mm -hmm. because why? Everyone knows that police have weapons, so mm -hmm. you would be like gone like mm -hmm. that. So of course you're they gonna go places like a school where there's no, no weapons, security, no security, no nothing, because they know they have time to do serious damage. They go to places that they know they're vulnerable. And wow, I mean, Second Amendment, it doesn't matter where you stand on guns. It's our constitutional right mm -hmm. to carry. And the reason why they don't is exactly right. They throw you in camps. You can't fight back against the government mm -hmm. if you don't have any means freedom. of fighting back. Yeah. It is a big essential part of our freedom. Woo! Wow. Oh, I can't say wow anymore. That's right. You do say it a lot.
Fantastic. It's like, wow. No, that was in wow, the wow. past. Wow, that wow, was wow, in the wow, past. Wow, now wow. it's a thumbs up. Fantastic. I want to switch it up. I'm going to keep you safe at night. They want to take away guns because it's easy to control people if they don't have any way to fight. Hey, buddy, what's your little AR-15 going to do when the government comes to take it? Well, Ukraine started handing out rifles to all of the citizens when the Russians invaded. So what about that? I thought it wouldn't help. I guarantee that it'd be better than nothing. I hope it never does. But if the day comes, I bet that you're going to wish that you had something. This is the only country on earth where the people have real strength. And nowadays, with all the shit going on, it's the only thing that makes me feel safe. If there's anything that I've learned in the past couple years looking back at the pandemic, all of the shit that we have is fragile, and it could snap at any second. Fuck all of the politicians. I don't trust anything they say. Take the word gun out of gun control, and that's all that it is at the end of the day. Ooh, I don't give a fuck how crazy Kevin, you think this that it is. Your best this is it. This is it. This is, this so is good. it. This is it. Yeah, I'm so, I mean, people are so set like, oh, we're so right in our, in our politics. Mm -hmm. But the truth is you're like, screw them off. Screw them off. Trust nobody. I like Trump because he's not a politician. Yeah. But he's an it, asshole, but he's an not, asshole. That's for the people. Yeah, but he's not a politician. No, but he's not a yeah. politician. That's why we love him. Yeah. That's why I'm saying he's, he's America's asshole. And we love that. We love that. We love assholes. We love America's <laughs> assholes. <laughs> Put that on a t-shirt right there. Run out of gun control and that's all that it is at the end of the day. I don't give a fuck how crazy you think that I look or I sound when I say this shit. But our second amendment's the only thing that stands between us and a dictatorship. Oof. Oof. That hurt. And as for the kids, I'm not a security expert, so I won't act like one. But I think that if we can send over $50 billion to Ukraine, we could surely spend that much or more or less here in our own country to fortify our schools and make them more secure so that every kid can get an education safe and sound. Place several trained armed guards in every school across America. You know, real men who won't stand by for 45 minutes in the hallway while a shooting unfolds in front of their own eyes. And pay them well, too. There's veterans that need the work. Exactly. Why not protect our kids the same way that we protect you? Politicians are protected by guns. Celebrities are protected by guns. Every important person that walks this earth is protected by a gun. But our kids, they're important. Just not as much as you. Wow. I mean, wow. I mean, first of all, that's exactly what we have discussed things like this. Every time you see a tragedy, veterans need to be put to work, and this is the time to do so. They would love Retired it. police, mm -hmm. this is the time to do so. Put them in to save children's lives. There just wouldn't be as many shootings. What shooter is going to go into a school if there's like three, four, even two? armed guards veterans whatever yes. outside of a school they'll be so scared that they they're wouldn't gonna go somewhere else like a library or something where there's yeah. no guards like they're gonna be like oh can't go to schools anymore you wouldn't go to a naval base and yeah. be like this is my place this is my yeah. time to shine yeah. you just wouldn't do that because criminals go for the people that are the weakest and on schools are a weak point because there's no security and it's so sad that tragedy shouldn't even be happening but it happens because of the incompetence of politicians because they simply don't care about you and i think it's time um americans stop putting trust in politicians because eventually you know i mean things are really um escalated right now and people need to like put whatever bullshit they have to the side and realize like this is for a bigger cause which is protecting the youth bigger picture bigger picture samson what the hell that was the best what the hell that, that was, was the, the best. best that was the best that was the best That was the best. also which shampoo do you use because my hair is so dry and yours looks so nice like living looks healthy by the humidity we don't have any we don't even have rain so that's true we don't know what that is you guys let us know so down good. below what you guys think of this video because we absolutely love it. I can't say the uh, amazing, wow. amazing. It's like, Just truly wow. amazing. This is another masterpiece. Every time he comes out with something, we look forward to hearing it. So let us know if we've missed any big Samson ones or if any, there's any yeah. other Samson ones to do. I think we got them all, but we could I be wrong. Know.
We also, yeah, we could be wrong. Um, you could be wrong. Not me. I'm never wrong. Try no, you didn't try, Ashanti. Sorry, this wasn't Ashanti for you. Be be <laughs> Thank you guys so much for... Um, you got me distracted. All I could see now is Ashanti. Good Lord. Like, subscribe and notifications bell. And we will see you next time for another reaction where I sing Ashanti. Good Lord. We're leaving. Bye, guys.